Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to phonics. So yesterday, we learned about our CH and our SH digraphs, and they say CH and SH. Today, we're going to learn our WH and our PH. Now, I want you to notice that all of these digraphs end with an H. So there's CH, SH, WH, and PH. So today, we're going to learn WH, and we can go ahead and say these slides. WH makes the W sound. W. So it makes the W sound, and the H is kind of silent. So we'll say W, and then we'll say our vowel. W, 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 W. Now let's say it again, going up. W, W, W. Okay, now PH, this one is tricky. Whenever you see PH when you're reading, it makes the F sound. So it makes so it makes the F sound, the sound the letter F makes. When you see PH, it makes the F sound. So what if I showed you this word? Can you sound this word out? Gur. That is an R blend, so we need to mark it. Gur, A. Ah. I need to mark my vowel. What did I say the PH is? We have to put that arc under that digraph as well. Gur, A, graph. Graph. So we mark from left to right. And remember, PH makes the F sound. So I'm going to write some WH words, and I want you to mark them yourself and then read them to yourself. Okay, I want you to write these three words down, and I want you to mark them with your arc and your vowel, and then I want you to read them. And remember, WH is one sound. Remember, digraphs is two consonants together to make one sound. So then after you do this, you can pause and go do that right now. Okay, when you're done with this, I want you to practice this sound. So to help you remember that the PH makes the F sound, between the P and the H, I want you to put a little bitty F whenever you see PH, okay? So let's try one more word. I want you to tell me what this word is. You've probably seen it before. PH makes the F sound. So I'm going to put an F between those letters up high, small one. And then the E at the end makes this vowel say its name. So I have to mark that. O. Mm, phone. Phone. So PH makes the F sound and you put a little F at the top between them so that you remember that that makes the F sound. And then mark your words with the arc and the vowel when they change into a word from my slide. And you should have come up with when, whip, and wham. Good work today. Make sure that when we're reading, we're practicing these digraphs because they can be tricky. Remember, if it ends with an H, it could possibly be a digraph. CH, SH, WH, and PH are the ones we learned in the last two days. So we should know those when we're reading them in a story. Good work today.